Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is one of my oh, my first times actually doing this, uh, doing a movie review uh, with my camera. So, uh, yeah, I saw Orphan a couple days ago, and really, I never really wanted to see it. I saw a trailer, it looked bad to me, and I finally said, you know what, people are saying it's kind of fun, it's kind of cool, it's kind of interesting, and the twist is freaking awesome. So, I went to go see it. It was interesting. It was blood, pretty bloody also. Uh, the girl scared, scared shit of me sometimes, I'll be honest. Uh, and I liked it. The twist just came out of nowhere. I was like, whoa. That, that was awesome. I'll be honest. The twist is cool. Alright? It's kind of it's kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of stupid in a way, but I mean, shit. I like, I like twists like uh, it just comes out of nowhere. Uh, like a uh, uh, Deep Blue Sea, if you ever saw that with Samuel L. Jackson when he's like giving a speech and then a shark just comes out wrong. Mmm. Yeah, so uh, if that happened in like 2008, I don't think Samuel L. Jackson would got eaten like that. It was back then when Samuel L. Jackson wasn't that big of a name. Uh, so yeah. And then now, shit, he's a big name. If you have him in there, that means it's gonna make a lot, a little bit, at least a, at least be a modest hit, except the spirit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Orphan. Uh, now, I like the actor, Vera Farmiga, I think it's her name, from Farmiga, Farmiga, I'm sorry, Vera Farmiga, uh, she plays, I'm sorry, it's been a long time, Kate, Kate Coleman, I saw this last week, and I didn't post this video up, seeing that I've been doing my Ghostbuster walkthrough, so I didn't want to interrupt that, so yeah, uh, she plays Kate Coleman, and Peter Sarsgaard plays, uh, John Coleman. And you know what? I love both of them. I mean, they're great actors in this movie, definitely. Uh, Peter Sarsgaard definitely impressed me in this, because I never thought he was that great. I think he was in Flight Plan, and I hated him in Flight, Flight Plan. Uh, I just hated that movie, but Flight Plan, I didn't like him in at all. Uh, uh what else? Because, well, he was in there, and it, of course there was a twist in that movie, but that wasn't really a good twist. Uh, yeah. And, uh, Isabella, what's her name? Furman? El Isabella Furman plays Esther, the girl they pretty much adopt. Now, here's the story. All right. Kate Coleman, she's having her third kid. She's having the third kid, uh, and she has a, a miscarriage. There you go. I was about to say abortion. I was like, Whoa. No, she has a miscarriage, and the baby dies, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I guess after many months or something, I don't know how, many, how long it was. I forgot what it said. Maybe, maybe, I think it said actually one year, I think. Uh, but I guess they just decide, you know what, let's go adopt a kid, all right? Because it came out of nowhere. It was like, oh, uh, we should pick out a kid. It's like, it's like, it's like a goddamn supermarket of kids. It's just like, oh, no. It's, it's weird. When we, and this orphanage, it's, when you go to this orphanage, it has a, the stupidest kid. Like, I'm going to change you. I'm going to change you too. It's, I mean, every kid is like that, except Esther. Uh played by a Isabella Furman, uh, who was creepy. She was Russian in this. I didn't even know she was Russian. Holy shit. When she got her Russian accent going, I was like, get damn. And that was mostly in those scenes where she was trying to act creepy. Well, she, she was creepy. Uh, and she got her uh, Russian accent going. Uh, there's a, so, uh, a couple of funny scenes, too. Uh, there's also a couple of sad scenes. There's a scene, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a scene where... Uh, um, Esther pretty much crushes a bird uh, with a rock because uh, a kid, the kid, uh, the kid, well, there's two, alright, there's two uh, kids, like I said, there's third, they're having their third kid, alright, there's two kids, there, one, one's a girl and she is partially deaf, she's mostly deaf, alright, so she does hand signs, uh, and there's some stupid ass kid who plays guitar all day, uh, and yeah, he's an idiot, so, yeah, this kid has a paintball gun, of course, because all nine-year-olds should have a paintball gun. Uh, and he was like, and I think he was like nine, I don't know. He was like, ooh, ooh, oh, there's a bird up there. <laughs> oh, and he didn't think it would hurt him. And the bird's like, Arr, I think I can fly. It's okay. Crunch. Yeah, here he did. Uh, so, yeah. And it was pretty bloody also. I mean, when you crunch, he was like, the bird's like, boom. <laughs> And you just see blood splatter everywhere. I'm like, ooh, Orphan. I didn't think I didn't think of it being a R-rated movie, but it's more R-rated. Like, it's not a lot of blood. It's like a lot of sexual themes. There's a lot of cursing. There's a lot of sexual themes. There's a oh, there's drinking. 
because the main character after she had the miscarriage, uh, she started drinking or something like that. And now she's going to a therapist like, oh, they drink a lot. Uh, so uh, yeah, she's having a, a problem with her drinking. Yeah, who doesn't? I mean, really. Well, I mean, I, I, well, if I was a woman, I had a miscarriage. I mean, shit. And she had the most fucked up dream about her miscarriage. Oh my god, it was like. The baby was dead inside her stomach, but she still gave birth to it, but it's still alive. And she gave birth to it, and it was like a demon baby. It looked like that fucking baby from Dawn of the Dead remake. It was like, and I was like, ugh. Anyway, I just screwed that scene up, too. But, I mean, when you see it, because everybody's like, oh, your baby's dead. We're very sorry. Okay, it's a, it's a boy. Like, what? I thought, I mean, it was the, it's a girl. It was supposed to be a girl. They were going to name it Jessica. I know I'm all over the place with this review, but I don't really give a damn. Uh, so, yeah. I like the story. I like the acting. Uh, the scares are, I mean, they're the typical scares, except a couple of them. They, they're like, you know, you open a mirror, it's halfway open, and then you're closing to someone on the other side of the mirror that wasn't halfway, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's those kind of scenes. You turn around, and then you turn around again, and there's someone there. Yeah, it's like those kind of scares, like, I don't know, you open a pantry door and you're just looking, and a squirrel pops out. <laughs> well, I don't think that actually happened, I don't really remember. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, this movie is actually very surprisingly fun, I mean, I liked it a lot, uh, but I wouldn't say it's the best horror movie I've seen, well, maybe, maybe this year, I mean, what else came out this year? I forgot, for like horror, like Last House on the Left that I didn't see, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Orphan is a good, nice little surprise. So, I think you guys should see it. If I had a score down my 1 through 5 system, or well, 0 through 5 system, I, you know, I, I'll be nice and I'll give it a 3.5 out, uh, out of 5. That's what I'll do. Yeah, it's a fun little movie. It's not the best. It is fun. I mean, I liked it. Okay? Every part was fun. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just good and fun. Shit, it's kind of sad how this gets better ratings than, like, fucking Transformers 2 or something. I mean, I like Transformers 2, but it's fucking stupid as all hell. I mean, come on, man. Shit, you got... I, you, you, the only cool part in there is Optimus Prime. I'll take all you on. And then he gets killed. Shut up. I mean, shit, man. He fucked up Transformers. I mean, I was even disappointed in the movie. Even though I wasn't looking forward to it that much. But still... I was disappointed with it. I still gave it like a four and a, like four point two. I think I gave it exactly, which is eight point four. And thinking about it, I'll probably give it lower. But anyway, this movie's still fun. I'll give it a three point five. You know what? I'll be nice. I'm gonna give it a three point four. No, I'm just kidding. I'll give it a three point five. That's all it's getting. Nothing, nothing none more, nothing less. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm gonna go get scared by things that pop up at me. All right. So thank you. Bye.